Good morning, children. Today in mathematics, we are beginning with a new topic, and the name of the topic is division. And the symbol for division is this, as you can see here. Now, as you can see over here, I have kept two balls, one and two, and there are some paper clips here. Now, I need to divide these paper clips equally into these two balls. Now, how do I do that, children? By putting each paper clip one at a time in each bowl. So here I begin. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. So I have got eight paper clips in each bowl. That means I have divided the paper clips into two groups of eight each. Let us watch the video to understand it more. Hi children, this is Jumble and Jimbo. And we will understand the concept of division with them. To begin with, we will first distribute the four bottles equally between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? Let us see. One, one, two, two. Each one has got two bottles. Now, let us see, there are six bottles on the table, which has to be equally shared between Jumbo and Jimbo. How many will each one get? Let us see again. One, one, two, two, three, three. Wow, each one has got three bottles. Look, who joins Jumbo and Jimbo? He is Jojo, the clown. Now, we need to distribute these nine bottles equally between Jumbo, Jimbo and Jojo. How many will each one get? Each will get three bottles. In all these examples, we shared the number of objects equally according to the number of groups needed. This is called dividing into equal groups or division. Thus, when a total number of things or objects are distributed into equal groups, we carry out the operation called division. Children, did you know that division is actually repeated subtraction? How? You would ask. Let us see with Jojo the Clown. Jojo has eight colorful balloons in his hand. He has to divide them into groups of two. Therefore, what does he do? He goes and ties two balloons from eight. Now he is left with six balloons in his hand. Next he ties two more balloons from six and is left with four balloons in hand. Once more he ties two more balloons from four. He is now left with two balloons in his hand. Last, he ties the remaining two balloons. Oops! He is left with zero balloons in his hand. When Jojo tied eight balloons in equal groups of two, he got four groups. Here, he tied the same number 
repeatedly. He subtracted the same number repeatedly. This process of repeated subtraction is called division. We can also write it as 8, then the symbol of division, then 2, then the equal to sign, and then the number as 4. We read it as 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. This symbol is used to show division. Now children, we shall be doing exercise 5.1 on page number 78 in your maths book. We begin by writing the date on the left hand corner. It says, put an equal number of marbles in each bag. Put 15 marbles in three bags. It is very, very easy. How many marbles are there? All together, there are 15. So you need to put it in three bags. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So I have put one marble at a time in each bag till I have reached 15. Similarly, we will draw and put six marbles in two bags. We will count till we reach the number six. One marble, two marble, three marble, four marble, five marble, six marbles. So how many marbles are there in each bag, children? There are three marbles. Similarly, put nine marbles in three bags. So we will keep putting one marble in each bag till we reach the number nine. One marble, two marble, three marble, four marble, five marble, six, seven, eight, nine. So here also we have three marbles in each bag. Let me do the last one. Put 15 marbles in five bags. So we are going to count up to 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many marbles are there in each bag? 1, 2, 3. Here too we have 3 marbles. You will put 10 marbles in 5 bags yourself. The next work on page 79 tells us to find how many groups would there be? And you have to find the groups by the method of repeated subtraction and division. The first one has been done for you as usual. There are 10 balls and you need to put these 10 balls in groups of 5 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So first, if you have to find, you will do it by the method of repeated subtraction. You will take all these 10 balls and minus 5. You get your answer, 5. Then you take this answer back here and 5 minus 5, you get the answer, 0. So you will continue subtracting till you get your answer, 0. This is by the method of repeated subtraction. Now by the method of division, you will take these 10 balls here. And they've told you to put it in 5 each. So, and you will divide it by 5. So when you divide 10 by 5, you get the answer 5 twos are 10. So there are two groups each. Let me do the second one for you. It tells six gloves need to be put in pairs of two each. There are six gloves. One, two, three, four, five, six. First, we will do it by the method of repeated subtraction. So we say six, that is all the gloves that are there, and we will subtract two minus two. We get our answer as four. Then we take this answer four here again to the next step and again subtract two. Here we get 2 again, our answer. Then we take this 2 and subtract 2. And we've come to 0. So there are no more numbers to subtract. So here we have got, we, here we have divided by the method of repeated subtraction. Now if you have to divide it by the division method, you will take these 6 gloves in total and put the division sign and divide it by 2 each. So, so we get... 6 divided by 2, that is 2 3s are, you get your answer as 3 groups. 
Let me do the last one for you. 30 toffees need to be put in groups of 10 each. So here these are all 30 toffees all together. So in groups of 10. So we take all the toffees, this number first. 30 minus how many? 10. So 30 minus 10, we get it as 20. Then we take the answer 20 and again we subtract. Remember repeated subtraction. 20 minus 10, we get it as 10. Next, 10 minus 10, we get our answer 0. We have to keep subtracting till we come to 0. This is by the method of repeated subtraction. Now division method, we take all the toffees that are there. 30 and divided by 10. So 10 threes are is 30. So here we get three groups again. Similarly, children, you will do uh, the shells and the books. You will divide them into groups. All right. That's all in maths today, children.